report to the distinguished representative of Jordan. You have the floor, sir. Mr. Chairman, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to express sincere appreciation to His Excellency Spekene Frau, Polish Chair in Office, Polish Chairmanship Team, and the OSCE Secretariat for the warm welcome and excellent organization of this meeting in the beautiful city of Fort. I'd like also to express deep gratitude to the North Macedonian Chairmanship of the OSCE Mediterranean Partners for Cooperation for their commitment to strengthen the dialogue and cooperation between the organization and the Mediterranean partners throughout the year. Mr. Chairman, Jordan remains committed to closer cooperation with the OSCE in all levels in order to anticipate our strong partnership. We reaffirm our conviction that the OSCE should continue to promote a comprehensive and inclusive approach to support the participant states and partners for cooperation in various important areas of mutual concern. Enhancing the dialogue and cooperation to make this, uh, this partnership more strategic and beneficial for all will continue to be Jordan's ultimate goal. Our regions have become even more interconnected in last decades. As a result of this close connection, an approach aimed at maximizing successes in economic development, empowering women and youth, protecting the environment, confronting climate change, and bridging the development gap, as well as other fields of joint action should be continued and enforced. Mr. Chairman, with the importance of intensifying cooperation in mind as an indication, as an indication of the strength of partnership between Jordan and the OSCE, Jordan was privileged to host once again the OSCE Mediterranean Conference at the Dead Sea last October under the timely title of Advancing Security and Cooperation in the Mediterranean, Fostering Dialogue with the OSCE Mediterranean Partners for Cooperation. Thanks goes to North Macedonia, Chair of the Mediterranean Partners Group for organizing this important conference. It was an excellent opportunity that emphasized the importance of working together to ensure a better and secure future for all, given the fact that our region and Europe are one neighborhood. Mr. Chairman, the Middle East region deserves security, peace, and stability that has been denied for decades. The precarious situation in our region will continue to hinder security and development in the future if not addressed adequately. The Palestinian-Israeli conflict is key to peace and stability in the region and beyond. Jordan, as the vast majority of the world, strongly believes that the two-state solution is the only way to achieve a just and lasting peace. Only with the resolution of the conflict, as per the two-state solution, can we, move forward, can we move forward to a peaceful and prosperous future in our region. Jordan has a historic role in Jerusalem given the role of His Majesty King Abdullah II as the custodian of the Holy Muslim and the Christian sites. Jordan will continue exerting all its efforts to safeguard the holy sites in Jerusalem. The historic and legal status quo in Jerusalem must be respected and preserved. Even as the spotlight of international attention stares toward other crises, crises it is imperative that we continue to work to solve other regional conflicts in the Middle East and address their repercussions. The Syrian crisis and all the misery and destruction it has brought must end through a political solution in accordance with UN Resolution 2254 that maintains serious unity and territorial integrity, eradicate terrorism, and restore peace and stability. Mr. Chairman, Jordan highly appreciates the continuing projects and events that the OSCE is organizing in support of youth in partner countries. I thank the OSCE for their continued efforts of providing youth with opportunities by offering them multiple programs and courses. Young people are our future, and we have also to ensure that they have a seat at the table for decisions that will affect their lives. Therefore, this year's Mediterranean Conference at the Dead Sea dedicated a whole session to the role of youth in the Mediterranean region with the support of young members of the civil society. 
The second thematic session was also dedicated to empowering women and youth in times of crisis. Other topics, mainly challenges caused by the climate change and trafficking of human beings were also discussed at the conference. In closing, Jordan is committed to strengthening the partnership with the OSCE. Jordan will continue to support the OSCE as an important platform of cooperation and dialogue. This is a partnership that can do a lot of good for us and for the world at large. We look forward to continuing our work together to tackle issues that affect all our countries and people. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I thank Jordan for being excellent host of the